Yeah, the tournament started about six minutes ago. Wow, someone already has 10 points. Three wins in six minutes. So I have some catching up to do. Uh, the plan is to play chess. And more specifically, to play a different opening every game. Hello, Eric. Good luck in tournament. Thank you, Wizard. Hopefully I can play a nice mix of people's favorite openings. Uh, I still have to turn off Zen mode. Let me just open the new tab. Can we start with a Stafford? Okay, this will be the first and only Stafford of the tournament. Stafford Gambit time. Uh, queen d4, and now queen d6. Let's see how much my opponent knows here. The idea is to play knight g4 next. I mean, objectively, this is better for white, but I think after bishop e3, it's now better for black. Because if takes, it's just a brutal mating attack. Knight g4 on tap. Hello, Eric. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Also good to see this position. Queen h2, checkmate is hard to stop. If Third takes, I take with mate. Strong. Great chess and chill vibes always appreciated. Thank you, Zactris. Thank you, Triswis, as well. So very nice start to the tournament. Um, I wonder if this counts as a pawn checkmate, because it's a rook delivering mate, but it's a pawn that was moved. So 15 move, Stafford Gambit win. Can't start much better than that. So 67th place, 68th place, 72nd place. Okay, I'm dropping in the standings. Need to start a new game. Uh, let's play e4 and let me adjust my settings real quick. Game display. Um, oh no, my prime sub again. I'll just do it after this game. Okay, so we have another like favorite opening of mine from the white side. It's some version of the Grand Prix against the Sicilian. Thank you, Raoul Art. Happy half a year. I appreciate the prime sub. So this is basically the quintessential Grand Prix attack. Uh, there's a few ideas going into the middle game. An e5 looks attractive. I mean, one idea centers around attacking on the king side, but the other idea is all about positional play on the queen side. I like the prospect of knight a4 and then c4. Yeah, this, this pawn is ducking my attack. Oh, if I play this, there's bishop b6. I was about to play that. So let's play bishop a3 first. Oh, yes, my first anniversary. Thanks for the great content, Eric. Oh, thank you. Backward spawn. Wait, backwards spawn or backwards pawn? Maybe backwards pawn. It's an ambiguous name. Happy one year. Okay, so there's a lot of tension in this position. Pawn tension, bishop attacking the rook. Wow, I didn't even see that was hanging. But I'll take the rook. And then I mean, queen g3 likely coming. I'd like to keep the rook on the f file. Maybe knight g5. Gets tricky though. Takes and then d4. Oh, thanks to more people. Realizing you don't play music during your streams because your I know voice it. is the music. My voice along with the, the moves. Wait, what's happening here? It takes. Probably doesn't work. But if I play this move. 
I mean, this rook is hanging, but I'm threatening mate. Now this pawn is hanging. Yeah, this position is music to my eyes. But very chaotic music. What's happening? Rook and knight for two bishops and a pawn. I win the queen. Opponent takes this rook. Now I take this pawn. Attacking the knight, setting up the discovery, threatening this move. Black tries to defend everything. So I have a queen for two bishops. And now I can take here with the fork. The queen's doing a lot of things here. I mean, bishop d4, king f1. Okay, uh, let's do king f1 anyway. So I survived the chaos. At least so far. If, um, it's the best way to convert in this move. Thank you, Chess on Earth. Welcome back. Thank you, Matriarchal. Thanks to everyone who I didn't acknowledge. Spooky, spooky spectral sequences. SpongeBob Gambit. I appreciate everyone tuning in. So that's two games so far. Oh, let me uh, update my Zen. Okay, turning it off. Oh, thanks for gifting five. I appreciate that. Chess on Earth. Did opponent miss 92 winning the queen? Not that I recall. Although maybe I missed it too. I'm not sure. Okay, we have whatever this is called. D4 though. Let's play C5. I have no idea what this is, but it looks fun. Let's keep creating pawn tension. After the game, I'll have to see if this opening has a name. This knight is this, this, this. Actually, I can I can play this, and after it takes, I can take here attacking the knight. I mean, so far I'm only moving pawns. Yeah, there's two safe squares. In both cases, I win this pawn. First seven moves are pawn moves in this game. Do you like milky oolong tea? Uh, I do, yeah. I like milky oolong. It's been a while since I've had milky oolong, but it's a nice type of tea. So I can take on passant here. I probably want to leave the pawn on d4, though. Take. Maybe I do want to on passant. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna ampassant, and then then the diagonal will be open. Yeah, White probably could have played that move a bit quicker. So now I'm hitting the B2 pawn. This is the first non-pawn creature I've touched the whole game. It took nine moves to move a non-pawn. Oh, thank you, Chess on Earth. Gifting another five. We're on a nice hype train here. Yeah, welcome back to everyone. I appreciate the hype. Queen A5. I mean, the bishop's now defended, so... I wonder if I had Queen A5 instead of 97. Oh, but then Bishop D2. So what to do now? I was watching one of your older stream uploads on YouTube. Play this. Your berserk rate in that tourney was simply beautiful, hoping for something similar here. Wait, beautiful in what way? Beautiful as in like 100% or 0%? <laughs> I 
Less than three. People have different perceptions of beauty. My berserk rate thus far is zero percent in this tournament, but I could start berserking. I mean, I've completed development, which is not bad for moving, moving pawns for the first several moves in the opening. So I'm hitting this bishop. The queen is actually overworked now, defending both bishops. Thank you for the great content. Have a nice day, Eric. Oh, look at this move. Discovered attack, obstructing the pawn from... Uh, or obstructing the thing from defending the other thing. It's hard to talk. There's so many things happening right now. Thanks again, Chess on Earth. Oh, shout out to Chess on Earth. You're a small time streamer. Chess on Earth. Okay. Everyone go follow Chess on Earth. Really appreciate the support. I take this and then. Maybe this move. Just def keeping the knight defended. I eventually want to hit the queen. Okay, let's on Passant again. I'll take your. So I'm up a knight. This is a weird game so far. Yeah, also thank you to um Mut Me M D Zindar V. Thanks for subbing for 22. Uh let's play. I play rook e8. Just attacking the queen. The bishop's pinned. Now my knight is pinned too. So let's keep attacking the queen. And this is a nice move. Although it might get forked. Knight b5. But then I take the bishop. It should be fine. Yeah, bishop's still defended. Knight's still defended. Even the pawn's defended. Rook's attacked. Oh no, white's queen. Yeah, what started in complete chaos ended in an all-you-can-eat buffet. So does this opening have a name? <laughs> F4, G5, D4, C5. I mean, this is called the Hobbes Gambit. And then this has been played almost 400 times on Leechess. To get better, or will I get better by just playing? You can get better by just clicking the, the go live notification. Maybe. But playing helps. I mean, usually a mix of different things can help the most between playing, solving exercises, watching high level chess, ideally Very with commentary, Sunday afternoon. chess books, Best. courses. A lot of resources these days. Okay, I'll berserk because we'll try and make the berserk rate more beautiful. My first time playing d4 this tournament. I'll play a Trumpowski. I don't usually play the Trumpowski. e4. And taking over the center. I would play the Trumpowski more if it led to positions like this. I'm going to try and be aggressive here. Offset side castling, maybe e5. I have to figure this out though. Maybe g4. Idea to take and then g5. I'm not sure if this actually works, but it looks interesting. Thank you, Arthur Philip Dent. Thank you, Hurler on the Ditch. Am I going to Vegas Chess Festival this year? Um, I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead. I'm still trying to figure out my plans for March. I think it's less likely than last year. Because last year was 100%. So this year it's less than 100%.
so now I'm threatening to win back the piece. Or wait a minute, did I sack a piece? Oh, I didn't even sack a piece. I sacked a pawn. So now I'm up a piece. Okay, that worked out nicely. Threatening to take on g6. Yeah, plenty of time. King g7 is probably best, and then a threat to check and win the pawn. Actually, this is probably force mate threat. Ooh. My rook is getting hugged very tightly. So the bishop defends a knight, defends a rook. Black's trying to destabilize everything with that move. So what to do? Maybe this move. Now I might lose a bishop, but I'll win the pawn. Oh, I lost a rook. I forgot that was undefended. Oops. Take there. Guys, save the bishop. Wait, this is not easy now. Knight d3, we trade. I mean, I'm down the exchange. It's Knight and two pawns for rook. Should be manageable. Check. That was really not easy though. Objectively, it's probably drawage, but practically all three results are possible. I really let things slip, though. Yeah, it's just a draw. Okay. Chess is a draw. What to do? I was up a piece that game. <laughs> just got too low on time. Also, I hung a rook. <laughs> E5 was not my proudest move. Just had to take on g6. I didn't lose. I did lose my streak though, unfortunately. Oh, is this for 100 subs? Yeah, there is a viewer that came in yesterday offering 100 subs if I win the tournament, but I don't think they're here right now. Um, I'll keep mixing up the openings. I'll play c4 and we'll have a English. Um, slightly weird move order from black. Not sure what we call this. I'm sacking the d4 pawn. Black doesn't take it. I mean, this position looks really nice. We need two. Because once the knight moves, I have this. d4 might be the best try. And then knight b5 hitting c7. Why do you have an ambulance in your name? <laughs> because someone called an ambulance. But not for me. Hopefully not for me. Okay, so I'm hitting the queen, the pawn, and the knight.
Black defends everything. But now I have this move. The queen's attacked. It can't stay defending everything. Queen e6 gets triple fort. Yeah, bishop e4 is not really possible. But what's the best approach here? Maybe this. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out like um maybe not. Ah, uh, maybe g4 after queen f5. Yeah. Now the queen's actually trapped cuz the two safe squares run into forks, knight c7, or if queen takes g4, there's knight f6, combining the pin and the fork. So this is a pork. Okay, very feel-good way to finish that game. <laughs> Top 40 now. Over an hour left, so a lot of chess to go. Play the bird the next game, please. If you say please, a bird is a word. Well, okay, if I'm bla if I encounter d4, I'll play the Dutch. Reverse bird. Okay, we have English versus Dutch. Thank you, Bob is here, gifting to Fable Graph. I got an email from someone. Maybe like within the last day. And the email was it was very simple. It was requesting me to play the Leningrad Dutch. So that's what I'm doing here. Have to respond to that email with a clip of this game. Long time no see. To see you is a well welcomed respite. Oh, welcome back, Iscaro Pust. Doh I hung upon. Not my proudest Dutch. I'm down on time too. Okay, let's try and focus. Yeah, this is going to take a lot of work to not lose. Now I'm down two pawns. And the opponent's just playing very, very solidly. What to do? Lock the king to e8. I'm down a minute on the clock, too. This wasn't really caused by the opening. Maybe it was more caused by my lack of... my lack of judgment, my lack of blunder checking. Play this move, shutting down the bishop. There's a trick b5 here, and if it takes, I skewer. One small trick. It doesn't even work because knight b6, I don't think. Maybe I went back a pawn. Time is leveling out a little bit. 
Cooling down about 12 seconds. Mm, tack the pawn. I'm setting up a blockade, which is nice. Yeah, if we trade dark squared bishops, then white's left with a pretty bad bishop. Time's now level. Yeah, now I'm playing for a win. I'm not going to take perpetual. I have a pass pawn. And sometimes the best winning strategy is just to not lose. And then win on time. Okay. Well, I've I saved the opening disaster there or the early middle game disaster. Can't play in the opening. Thanks to whoever emailed me. It was a fun roller coaster ride. Okay, so on a streak, I'll hold off berserking. Kind of enjoy having time to to think. I think this is the first game encountering d4. Uh, what's the line here? A e4, e5. I had a similar line in Vegas last year at the the Norm event. This looks very playable, though. We'll trade queens. Oh, I missed a fork. It's kind of hard for white to stop, though. I think white's realizing it based on how long they're thinking here. This might be necessary. I should have, should have found knight b3. I moved too quickly there. And it's a pleasant position. I have a bit more activity, happier pieces. This bishop is stuck. Yeah, the day is going well so far. Not sure if I've gained rating. I think I've I've broken even. Had that one draw. I mean, bishop f5, e4. And there's kind of a funny line. E4 takes. Let's try it. I'm trying to deflect the knight so I can have rook d1. So if knight takes e4, rook d1 pinning the bishop to the undefended rook. And then the knight would be pinned too. There's also the line bishop takes e4, but it's very similar. This might be a move. Okay, well now, now I win a pawn. And this knight is almost trapped. Okay, I'm controlling all these squares. These squares were off limits. The knight has to go to b1 now because I'm controlling e4. King wants to come to f3 and e3. Hmm. Not quite winning anything. Oh, there's a trap. Yeah, if knight bd2, I play b5. Okay, now I can play knight c5. Five. Trying to win the pawn. There's knight c2, though. Looks like I am winning a pawn. Because all these moves to try and defend the pawn 
are controlled by the bishop. Now I win this pawn. But I'm losing this pawn. I mean, there's c5. This pawn is pinned from behind. Yeah, I just want to push. Okay. That was a cool game. Um, yeah, I mean, I should have should have just played knight b3. I think it wins a full rook, too, because the rooks can't defend each other. So 15th place, 20 points. Leader has 37. So I'm 17 points out of first. It might require more berserking. Playing Albano something something. Um, okay, I'll play a bird. <laughs> Someone wanted the bird earlier. And this might turn into a stone wall? D4, yeah, preventing E5. Yeah, this has some stone wall vibes. The drawback of the stone wall is a sad bishop, which maybe someday we'll find a life. I could play e4, why not? e5. Hi Eric, yeah, this how's move. Roxy doing? Been loving She's the good. Of your rapid tournament. Oh, thank you, said Smet. Yeah, she's a good dog. With my parents now. I see her occasionally. Okay, this is getting sharp. Black castle, queen side. So I'm trying to open up some files. Attack the pawn. The other benefit of this move is it unleash the queen to defend this. So after takes, takes, black can't take. And maybe like d5, queen a7. Wow. So if I take, take, there's bishop c5 ideas. Tricky, tricky. I mean, maybe I... I don't know what to do. It's like delicate for both of us. There, there. Take, take. Maybe take a knight f3. Just trying to maintain the center. Black could take, but... Yeah, just saving the knight, reinforcing d4. Thank you, Patrick VF. Appreciate the sub. Happy 13. If I take here, bishop c5 still... So maybe b... Uh, let's take. Yeah, I think the b file is valuable. And like bishop a3. Yeah, that was my... My worst piece was a dark square bishop. So I can trade it off. Makes me happy. Rook b1 may be coming. Hmm. Just trying to figure out how to crack the position. I feel close. Yeah, this is a bit counterintuitive because it opens a bishop, but makes my bishop a bit more capable. I mean, the position's completely opening up. Now take 
Alicia McQueen. Box holding on. Rook d8. Wow. Maybe I can take. Then rook takes, takes. Confusing position. G3. I'm up the exchange now, but it's not simple. Rook defends a knight. Wow. So I'm defending the fork. It's still not simple. So the rook and queen are attacked. C2 is super resourceful. Queen f7, knight c5 check. Rook f1 here. I'm still covering f3 and e3. I think it's okay. A crazy, crazy game. Now the rook's hanging. Okay, this is check. That's a fork. That's check. <laughs> okay, this is going well. Queen b7 is the only legal move, and then that's mate. Okay, crazy game. Stonewall com turned into complete chaos there. So, 12th place. Hey, it's GM Night Sounds. Thanks for the raid. If you're just joining, I just had a really crazy game. Um, I'm playing the daily server blitz, trying to win the tournament. I'm trying to also play a different opening every game. So now we have knight c3. Um, let's play Joe Bava London, how about? I played the Trumpowski earlier, but Jobava London, trying to do Jobava things. Not sure if this is a main line, but it's a very thematic idea. Okay, Vak fighting for the center. So, allowing the trade of knights. Ooh. I really want to sack the queen. Takes. Doesn't work, though. So now there's ideas of knight g4 at the right moment. There's also knight f7. Let's take first. Now can I take? So counterattacking the queen. I'm not sure if that works, but it's interesting. So if takes, takes. All the minor pieces are hanging. I take here. Bishop g5 is coming. That was a crazy sequence. I'm going to have triple pawns. Okay, now, yeah, black should have taken there. Now things are good.
I mean, probably the idea is to push the H pawn and get this rook involved. If bishop d6, I'm thinking knight g4. And black can't really challenge the b-file right away. It's a bishop covering b8. And now probably I want to play f4 to over-defend the pawn and then h5. C-file's opened. Thank you, one Sir Percival. Happy 10. There's a comment that I have made in two. I can check after the game. It did look very close to checkmate at some point. Oh no, my rook. Where's my mate? Okay, threatening this mate. And this mate. E4 checkmate. Okay. Not too often you can play such a, a mating move. So did I have Maiden too? I mean, there was Knight G4 at some point. I don't see. Knight H6 instead of taking the queen. Oh, here. Ah, that's, that's worth showing, because if king here, it would be mating, but the king would just move here, and it's not mate. So... Yeah, not quite the right moment to sack the queen. Okay, top 10. Still some work to do. Thank you, Mulfer. Happy 22. Playing Banam. Berserking again. So I'm still undefeated. Had that one draw earlier. Keep mixing up the openings. Maybe Karo Khan. Maybe Banco I see requested. Playing Karo Khan. Let's play the opening that Hikaru played against me the other day. I don't know what we call this. Some kind of um, Karo Khan modern. Maybe I can play this as a gambit. Maybe not. An h6. And the idea with the structure is to try and break down white center. It looks really ugly with pawn on f6 and knight on h6. I can't take with bishop. I guess I'll take with pawn. And then there's a few ways to try and untangle. Bishop f5. So takes, takes, never mind. Yeah, this is looking solid now. I mean, knight d6, f5. Maybe eventually. Yeah, I couldn't take with bishop because my knight would be hanging on h6. Although maybe it was playable somehow. So it's actually a pretty stable position for both sides. Hitting the B-Pong. Ooh, white castles. So now it's going to be a sharper game. Thank you, Travel Mocha. Subbing for the first time. H4 is a good move. So I'm hitting the pawn. I'm also setting up, like, if takes, takes, then the knight's in trouble. Is my knight in trouble? I have rook f7. That should be okay. Always retreat. Yeah, up a knight now. If I get the chance, I'd probably play queen f5. Never mind. And queen d5 is nice. Forcing the trade. It's 
So I have rook e1, rook e8. I have this move. Uh, I'll go for this. Lose a knight, win the bishop. Lose a pawn, win the pawn. Okay, saving the knight and the pawn. Oh, I could have taken the rook. Oops. <laughs> I was defensive oriented there. I lost that pawn. It's okay, though. I'm up a, a piece still. Now for two pawns. Feels close to trapping the rook. Rook f3. Rook f4. I'm just not predicting my opponent's moves. I was expecting b3 there. Okay, doing better on time now. Oops. Not the cleanest finish. Okay. <laughs> A finish nonetheless. Okay. Oh, playing fellow streamer. Good luck to my opponent. I think this person is streaming on YouTube. Oh, we have Joe Bava London. Okay. Also, thank you, Bafalino. Wait, I didn't berserk back. Oops. Oh, I feel bad. I can't give my opponent more time. Okay. Oh, time to show no mercy. I'm not sure what the theory is here. Trying to attack things. I'm taking on b2. Maybe not the way to go. Hmm. I mean, now I can take. And there's bishop e3 back, and bishop c5. Yeah, bishop d7 is useful, preventing knight a4. So I'm up a pawn now. Over defending this to try and win this. And there's a line takes, takes, rook h1. It's not happening, though. Everything's still defended. B4, now D4. D4, 92. Yeah, this move. Oops, I hung a pawn. Okay. How to do this? B3? I want to get the knight to c4.
Oh, I got fort. Okay, well now it's interesting. Um, have to be really careful. Threatening the counter fork. Rook b6 I fork. Okay, <laughs> I got my revenge fork. The king is still tied down to the knight. Okay. I feel bad I didn't berserk there, but... If I berserked, I would have flagged. I would have had negative 10 seconds at the end. Okay. Third place. Eight points behind the leader. What opening have I not played yet? I played e4 maybe a couple games? Had that one Grand Prix Sicilian. Okay, I'll berserk this game to make up for the last game. If e5, I could play a King's Gambit. Or do I play the egg? <laughs> okay, I'll play the egg. E, G, G. Don't mess with my egg. Maybe it's slightly useful preventing knight f6. It's actually working out, getting some early space on the king side. Uh, queen h3, take and mate. Yeah, I do really have to be careful. I mean, there's some funny lines though. Knight, okay, knight e3, I take it. Knight d4, queen h2, take king d1. Thank you, AKD, gifting, gifting 10. Really appreciate that. Okay, oh no, my rook. But there's going to be counterplay. Hopefully. And the calculation is here, here, here. Takes, okay. Black chooses a different route. Oh, that's a safer route. I guess I have to play king d1. I could play f3, actually. Defending with the queen. Yeah, the queen's an offensive piece and defensive piece. And the plan might just be to castle and then someday they get the rook to h3 and make a gun. Black is ready to attack, though. Mm. Prophylaxis. Oh no, my 18 months. Happy 18 months, curious mountain crawler. I gotta move faster. <laughs> I berserked this game. I watch all the speedrun series. Oh. Great job. Oh, thank you. Magician. Okay, it's gonna require some magic tricks to escape from this position. I'm still getting forked. So the idea is that bishop c5 is almost winning? How does black defend? I guess there's f, f something. Okay, well now I can take. I have 16 seconds. Gotta move quicker. Let me build the gun. The gun just refers to a triple up, usually with the queen and two rooks. But where's my mate? There's my mate. Oh no, my queen. Someone call an ambulance. But not for me. Okay. That was fortunate. I was running out of time. Oh, yes, my egg. I have not played the egg in a while. But the egg did not crack. It was slightly scrambled, I guess. But also slightly tasty. 
All right, six points out of first. Um, I haven't played the Scandi yet. I'm playing the, I mean, if D4 it's a Portuguese, if this, and this is already preferable for black. More development, controlling the center. Bishop b4. Bishop d2, maybe queen f5. So I want to pressure d3. You have takes, takes, there's three attackers. I also might be threatening it to take and then take. Like if h3, then I probably take and take, hitting the bishop. I have to take on d2. I don't really want to take on f3, but it's forcing. Okay, so white's saving the d-pawn, but accepting very bad structure. I'm threatening this or this. Yeah, a few games ago I missed the fork on b3 with knight b3. This time I found it. Up the exchange. Uh, safety first. Yeah, white structure, it's not great with the light squared bishop. A lot of pawns on light squares. The bishop is defending the pawns though. So it's still a question like how to crack the position. Always play king b8. I probably want to go after the h2 pawn. Rook is currently pinned to a7. I will say white's like doing a decent job of surviving, trying to make it a little bit interesting. So hitting B4. Actually, after f4, it's not simple. Okay, now I have queen d4. I'm just trying to simplify now. I'm threatening maiden 2. King e3, queen c1 checkmate. A rook is clutch. It's a weird mating construction. <laughs> I'll take it, though. So I'm in second place. I've been strategically berserking, I guess. Apart from that one game where I forgot to berserk. Oh, Ponziani, please. Okay, if I have the chance. Okay, I'll play the C3 Sicilian. The sister opening to the Ponziani. Um, I don't know the theory here. I'm just going to develop. Castle ASAP. Okay, hitting the rook. Uh, winning a pawn. 
Rook B. Oh, Rook B5 is not possible. Rook A7. Looks risky, but a pawn is a pawn. So I'm betting to take... If knight moves... Knight can't really move too many places, though. If knight h5, I think I take and then eventually win d7. Okay, so now I can take and then take. And d-file is a little bit cl uh, cluttered. Queen. And let's keep putting things on the d-file. The point of this move is it over-defends the bishop so I can play this. Now hitting, I mean, threatening two different mates in one. I don't think black can stop both. Okay. Hey, tied for first. The streak continues. Can I keep it up? Double berserk. Let's play an Alakine. Let's play a Brooklyn. Brooklyn is a opening. I don't usually play. But um, it's actually like a decent blitz or rapid weapon. Very often lead to positions like this. Simple structure. Some resemblance of a, a Petrov. It's an aggressive move. Yeah, this pawn's a bit weak. If rook g1, I, I take the other pawn and win the queen. Okay, nice to have a quick win there. We'll keep it going. What opening to play next? I'll play a French. I'm running out of openings. Finally got to the French. How do I play this opening? This is a, the worst piece in the French, so usually you should trade it off. There's other positions where you just keep the bishop, but and this is one of white's best pieces, so it's a decent positional decision. Oh, I forgot to berserk. Also, I'm playing the person in uh, in second place, so this is like a pretty crucial matchup. I didn't really calculate this. If takes, takes, queen d3, queen h4. Um, I have rook g8, but this looks more exciting. So I'm threatening maiden one. I'm allowing this move. King d8, bishop f4. Do. Oh! That's not good. That's really not good. So now I'm down a queen for a bishop. At least I don't have a sad bishop anymore. But this is going to take a miracle. 9f8. Position's so passive, too. My only hope is like I get some g-file tactic. Opponent's going to see it, though. That was really careless, allowing bishop g5. I should have played rook g8 there. Oh, uh, what to do? King h1 is coming. Get my g5. Maybe rook h4. So pressuring the knight. I mean, allowing this move. Ay, ay, ay. What to do? The problem is queen g4 too. Man, 
Let's try this. The knight's not happy on h3. But you never know. Knights can be tricky sometimes, as we've seen in the past. Up a little bit of time. This knight is <laughs> is not tricky at all. It's just staring into the pawns. Maybe this move. I have to create some shelter for my king. The hurricane is coming. King c6. Knight's just getting trapped? Wow. Knight's just trapped. So now I'm just down a full queen. But I still have a pawn storm. And a, a small TP. Yeah, this is not good. Run with the king. Uh, I wanted to resist a bit more. Take, take. Okay, I should probably resign. Yeah. Never resign when you have a knight, but the knight was lost there. Okay, I'm still in first. I have fallen, though. That was my first loss with a tournament. Unfortunately, no stale matrix. My opponent played well that game. There's 14 minutes left. This could be a really close finish. Yeah, there's only time for, what, like, a few more games? Uh, we'll play a grab. Someone wanted the grab earlier. I mean, usually C4 is a move you play eventually in the grab. So one of the middle game ideas is to put a rook, I'll start with a3, put the rook on c2 and queen on a1. Okay, now maybe b1 makes more sense. We keep developing. Yeah, preparing queen b2. I probably won't castle kingside. The idea of rook g1 and then g5 looks enticing. Black wants to play bishop f6. Play knight e5, maybe f4. It's a cool setup. Like the white pieces have like pretty good harmony here, especially compared to black. 
Bishop h4, just king somewhere. Can take in bishop e4. b3 should be falling. Hello, Eric, my king, day and nine and plink. Hello. I don't know what to do here. Bishop e4? Hey, it's three all the way. Hey, Eric. Hey. I hope you win both this tournament and the 100 gifted subs. Ah. Uh, and let's go. Okay, I feel like there's more pressure now. Wait, let me focus. I don't want to lose this pawn. The idea is to put the queen on d2 eventually. Maybe c1. Loud 94. I want to play g5. Yeah, I'm, it's super close. Tied for first. h4, connect 4. Whatever pawn takes, I'll have g5, hopefully. Position looks good. The time situation is not great. Threatening rook d8. The bishop's stuck. King f7, I think I take the rook. Oh no, I have this move. No, oh, this is winning. I was thinking king h7, queen h3, but then rook takes h3. Check. Yeah, it's made in like two. Okay, no time to waste. Oh man. Yeah, beautiful solitude. I lost a really crucial game. Nine minutes to try and catch up. So I'm rooting for this person. I think I need to berserk the rest of the games. I have not played a London yet. London opening time to revert to my bread and butter. Uh, B3, let's C4, let's play E4. Knight B5 would run into Queen A5. Trying to get rid of that pawn. Confusing opening. Trying to keep queens on the board. Very weird opening. If takes maybe b4. I have to play b4. Along queen a3 though. Okay, that's a welcome sight. Oh, that's a very welcome sight. Greek gift time. Is it leading to much though? I kind of forgot about king h6. I'm threatening knight discoveries now. If here I have h5 check. But do I not have anything? A4 first. I mean, I could win the rook. Let's take and then take and then take. I have queen. Let's take. Threatening b6. Mm. Push the H pawn. The 
35 seconds. Pushing the bee pawn now. Attacking the bishop. Oh, that's a good move. Still in control, though. Rook h6 coming. Threatening this. There we go. There we go. I'll spread the king thin. Okay, no time to waste. Back in first place. Beautiful solitude. Uh, that was a crazy game, actually. Okay. Turning the heart rate monitor on. Um, let's berserk and let's play Sicilian. I have, don't think I've played Sicilian yet. My heart rate's 155. Yeah, I feel the pressure. So much pressure. B pawn's hanging. Let's play this first. I'm gonna play C4. Getting meta four to trap the rook. In good shape here. A six is hanging. Probably should play C four at some point and prepare it. I got passed. No time to waste. Back to tournament. Okay. I might be playing Beautiful Solitude next. I'm not sure though. They've paused. It would be fitting if I play Beautiful Solitude, but the next game might not count for the tournament. Okay, but it might. The e4. I'll play a Black Mardemer. An aggressive opening.
Threatening to take and take. Defending and breaking the pin. G6 is almost hanging. Thirty seconds left in the tournament. Yeah. Okay, it counts for the tournament. I think. <laughs> okay. I was playing under the assumption that I'd get passed again, so... Uh, but I guess their game wasn't quick enough. They're still playing. Okay. Uh, what was my peak heart rate? It's still above 160. Got really nervous towards the end there. Have to calm down. I forgot I made tea too. I've been drinking water. So I played. Congrats. I played 20 games. Different opening every game. Thank you, Pie Hole. Thank you, Three Alloway. 15 50. I think there's some lag there. All the gifted subs slowed down the, the frame rate. Thank you, V Salt. Okay, I gradually calm down. I'll probably put this whole thing on YouTube for the main channel. Usually a lot of tournament videos go to the extra channel, but um, yeah, let's put this on the main channel. If you're watching in the future on YouTube, don't forget to watch live on Twitch and let me know what your favorite game was of this video.